Hey there, fellow geeks and horror aficionados. Welcome back to our channel, Insightful Jan. Today, we're diving into the spine-tingling world of horror comics. Now, I know some of you are seasoned comic book veterans, while others might be taking their first steps into this wonderfully wicked world. So whether you're a horror movie buff or just comic curious, this list is going to be a screen. We've got something special lined up for you today, a countdown, in no particular order, of the top 25 best-selling horror comics. And here's the twist, for each comic, I'll give you a bite-sized summary and compare it to a horror movie you might know and love. So, if a movie gave you the chills, the corresponding comic is bound to be right up your haunted alley. We're talking eerie tales, ghastly ghouls, and blood-curdling plots that have kept readers on the edge of their seats. From the depths of hell to the fringes of the supernatural, these comics cover it all. And hey, don't worry if you're new to this. Think of me as your guide through the dark forest of horror comics. I'll make sure you don't get lost, or eaten by something lurking in the shadows. So, grab your garlic, silver bullets, and maybe a comfort pillow, and let's jump right into the abyss of horror comics. And remember, it's all in good fun, or is it? Alright, brace yourselves. Here comes our countdown. Starting with number 25. House of Penance Dark Horse Comics House of Penance by Peter Tomasi is a dark horse comic psychological horror that weaves a haunting narrative around Sarah Winchester, the widow behind the enigmatic Winchester Mystery House. The comic book is not just a tale of ghosts in the supernatural, it's a visceral exploration of the heavy burden of guilt and the extreme lengths one might go to seek atonement. Sarah, haunted by the spirits of those slain by the Winchester rifle, channels her anguish into the endless construction of her mansion, a house with a bizarre architecture of stairways to nowhere and doors that open into walls. As Sarah labors under the belief that she can appease the restless spirits through building, the story also introduces us to Warren Peck, a man marked by his own dark past and seeking redemption. The dual narrative of Sarah and Warren mirrors the complexity of human guilt and the search for salvation. Their stories unfold within the mansion's oppressive walls, a character in its own right, which seems almost sentient in its gloom and labyrinthine corridors. The art by Ian Bertram enhances the eerie atmosphere with a style that strikes a balance between detailed realism and a more exaggerated, almost cartoonish approach. This duality in the artwork complements the story's exploration of the blurred lines between reality and madness, between the physical and the spectral. Position 24. Redneck Image Comics Redneck by Donny Cates, is an Image Comics horror series that tells the story of the Bowmans, a family of vampires residing in Texas, who run a local barbecue joint and live a life of quiet coexistence by subsisting on cow's blood. This fragile piece is threatened as generations of hate, fear, and bad blood rise to the surface, blurring the lines between human and monster. This series is recognized for its exploration of family dynamics, the struggle between embracing one's nature and the desire for normalcy, and the consequences of past actions that return to haunt the present. The Bowmans have long lived under the radar, with the head of the family, JV, mandating secrecy for their survival. However, tensions rise when JV's sons, seeking freedom and resentful of their confinement, defy his orders and venture into town, leading to a confrontation with their family's old nemesis, Father Landry. This encounter sets off a chain of events that lead to tragedy and violence, as one of the sons, Slap, is found dead, the Bowmans must then face their internal conflicts and the investigation into Slap's murder reveals shocking family secrets and betrayals. As the story unfolds, we're introduced to the complexities of vampire existence, their rules, and their relationships with humans. The Bowmans struggle to maintain a low profile while dealing with internal disputes and external threats creates a narrative filled with tension and horror. The series also touches on themes of authority, rural life, in the inherent nature of being a predator in a world that has evolved past the simplicity of the food chain. At 23. Revival Image Comics In the quaint, rural town of Mercy Falls, Wisconsin, a chilling phenomenon disrupts the tranquil lives of its inhabitants, the dead return to life. This sudden upheaval of the natural order plunges the town into chaos and uncertainty, forcing its residents to grapple with the profound implications of mortality in the afterlife. At the center of this extraordinary event is Officer Dana Cypress, a young woman with a troubled past and a keen investigative mind. 
tasked with maintaining order amidst the societal upheaval. She must navigate the complexities of this new reality, where the line between life and death blurs and the delicate balance of human existence is thrown into disarray. As the town struggles to adapt to its resurrected residents, Dana's investigation into a brutal murder takes a bizarre turn when she discovers a connection between the victim and the recently risen. This revelation leads her down a dark path, uncovering secrets and conspiracies that threaten not only the town's stability but her own sanity as well. Amidst the growing unrest and the escalating tensions between the living and the undead, Dana must unravel the truth behind this extraordinary phenomenon, a truth that may ultimately hold the key to preserving humanity's very existence. Revival is a captivating and thought-provoking horror series that delves into the profound questions of life, death, and the nature of existence. Tim Seeley's intricate narrative and Mike Norton's stunning artwork weave a chilling tale that will stay with you long after the final page is turned. Number 22. Black Hole Pantheon Deep within the suburban sprawl of 1970 Seattle, a sinister secret lurks beneath the surface of seemingly ordinary lives. A mysterious sexually transmitted disease, dubbed the bug, has begun to spread, its effects far more grotesque than any conventional STD. Its victims, predominantly teenagers, develop bizarre and unsettling mutations, their bodies contorting into grotesque parodies of their former selves. At the heart of this unfolding horror is Chris, a popular and respected high school student, who finds herself inexplicably drawn to the outcasts and misfits infected with the bug. Drawn to their shared sense of alienation and ostracism, she forms a deep connection with Keith, a troubled stoner whose anxiety seems to mirror the mutations that are slowly taking hold of his body. As the disease's reach intensifies, the community grapples with the implications of these grotesque transformations. Shunned and ostracized, the infected teenagers retreat to the fringes of society, seeking refuge in the nearby woods. Their physical deformities serve as a poignant metaphor for the emotional and psychological turmoil they face, as they grapple with their newfound identities and the fear of societal rejection. Charles Burns' Black Hole is a haunting and thought-provoking exploration of adolescence, sexuality, and the profound impact of physical and emotional transformation. His distinctive, stylized artwork, reminiscent of old pulp horror comics, perfectly captures the unsettling atmosphere of the story immersing readers in a world where the boundaries between normalcy and grotesque are blurred. At 21. Witches Image Comics Deep within the secluded town of New England, nestled amidst the dense, ancient forests of Witch County, lies a chilling secret, the presence of malevolent woodland creatures known as witches. These enigmatic beings, descended from the very witches who once terrorized the region, lurk in the shadows, preying upon the unsuspecting and perpetuating their age-old reign of terror. At the heart of this chilling tale is the Rook family, a recently relocated family who has unwittingly stumbled into the domain of the witches. As they settle into their new home, the youngest daughter, Sailor, begins to exhibit strange and unsettling behaviors, drawing the attention of these malevolent creatures. As the witches' presence grows stronger, the Rook family finds themselves trapped in a terrifying struggle for survival. Their once peaceful life is shattered by the relentless attacks of these woodland horrors, leaving them to question their sanity and the very fabric of reality. Scott Snyder and Jock's Witches is a spine-chilling graphic novel that delves into the depths of folklore and the profound fear of the unknown. Jock's haunting artwork, reminiscent of classic horror comics, perfectly captures the unsettling atmosphere of the story, immersing readers in a world where the boundaries between reality and nightmare blur. Position 20. BPRD Dark Horse Comics in the shadows of a world often oblivious to the lurking supernatural, a clandestine organization known as the Bureau for Paranormal Research and Defense, BRD, stands as humanity's last line of defense against the monstrous forces that threaten to tear the fabric of reality apart. Spawned from the mind of comics legend Mike Mignola, the BBRD saga is a sprawling epic that spans generations, continents, and the very boundaries of horror itself. From its inception in Hellboy, the series has evolved into a complex and captivating universe, delving into the depths of ancient folklore, mythology, and the darkest corners of human nature. At the heart of the BBRD lies a diverse and remarkable team of agents, each with their own unique abilities and troubled pasts. Abe Sapien, a gentle giant with a tragic past, possesses the power to communicate with animals, while Liz Sherman, a young woman with a touch that can unleash devastating pyrotechnics, struggles to control her volatile powers. As the BBRD tackles a seemingly unending stream of supernatural threats, 
they confront monstrous creatures, malevolent cults, and the insidious forces of the occult. They battle ancient vampires, vengeful spirits, and even the very fabric of time itself, all while navigating the complexities of their own relationships and inner demons. The BPRD saga is a masterclass in horror storytelling, blending suspense, action, and a touch of the supernatural to create a truly immersive experience. Magnola's distinctive and evocative artwork brings the characters and creatures to life, while the series' intricate mythology and world-building offer a deep and rewarding narrative that continues to captivate readers worldwide. In 19th position, The Immortal Hulk Marvel Comics In the realm of superheroes, the Hulk stands as an enduring icon, a creature of immense power and primal rage. However, in Al Ewing and Joe Bennett's The Immortal Hulk, the Hulk is reimagined as a creature of horror, a malevolent force that emerges from the shadows to wreak havoc and terror upon the world. Bruce Banner, the scientist who transforms into the Hulk, is not merely a man grappling with his inner beast. He is a vessel for a malevolent entity known as the One Below All, a cosmic entity that seeks to corrupt and devour all life. This revelation transforms the Hulk into an existential threat, a creature that transcends the boundaries of comic book heroism and delves into the depths of horror. As the Hulk's rampages become increasingly terrifying, he attracts the attention of both earthly and supernatural forces. The Avengers, the world's mightiest heroes, find themselves struggling to contain the Hulk's destructive power, while mystical entities from the realm of the dead gods seek to exploit the Hulk's connection to the One Below All for their own nefarious purposes. The Immortal Hulk is a chilling and thought-provoking exploration of the Hulk's nature, delving into the depths of his rage, his fear, and his connection to the supernatural. Ewing's intricate narrative and Bennett's haunting artwork create a truly immersive and terrifying experience. At 18. Neonomicon Avatar Press In the depths of the human psyche and the darkest corners of the occult, Alan Moore's Neonomicon delves into a realm of cosmic horror, where ancient entities from beyond our comprehension threaten to unravel the fabric of reality. Inspired by the works of H.P. Lovecraft, Moore weaves a tale of cosmic terror and psychological dread, exploring themes of madness, monstrosity, and the blurring of boundaries between human and the inhuman. At the heart of this harrowing narrative is a group of investigators who delve into a series of gruesome murders that seem to defy explanation. As they unravel the mystery, they uncover an ancient cult dedicated to the worship of Cthulhu, a monstrous deity from the Cthulhu mythos. The cult's rituals and sacrifices have opened a gateway to a dimension beyond our own, unleashing a wave of cosmic terror upon the world. Neonomicon is a graphic and disturbing exploration of the darkest corners of human nature, where the line between reality and nightmare blurs. Moore's intricate narrative and Jason Burroughs's haunting artwork create a truly immersive and terrifying experience. At 17. Providence Avatar Press In the realm of cosmic horror, H.P. Lovecraft's tales often plunge readers into a world of ancient gods, unfathomable mysteries, and the fragility of human perception. Alan Moore's Providence stands as a masterful reinterpretation of this universe, weaving a chilling narrative that explores the depths of human fear, the insidious forces that lurk in the shadows, and the blurred lines between reality and the unknown. Set in 1919, the story follows Robert Black, an amateur writer and occultist who becomes entangled in a web of intrigue and horror as he delves into the works of Lovecraft himself. Guided by his own fascination with the occult and his growing skepticism towards conventional reality, Black finds himself drawn to a series of strange and unsettling occurrences that seem to mirror the nightmarish tales of Lovecraft's fiction. As Black unravels the mysteries surrounding these events, he uncovers a hidden world of ancient cults, forbidden knowledge, and entities beyond human comprehension. His investigations lead him to the doorstep of the Cthulhu Mythos, a realm where the boundaries between reality and nightmare blur, and humanity's place in the cosmos is revealed to be far more precarious than we could ever imagine. Moore's intricate narrative and Jason Burroughs's haunting artwork masterfully capture the unsettling atmosphere of Lovecraft's universe, immersing readers in a world where the line between sanity and madness is dangerously thin. Providence is not merely a retelling of Lovecraft's stories. It is an exploration of the very nature of fear, the power of the human imagination, and the limits of our perception. Number 16. Infidel Image Comics Infidel by Pornsack Pachetchote and Aaron Campbell, published by Image Comics, is a gripping and thought-provoking horror narrative that masterfully blends supernatural terror with the real-world horror of xenophobia. 
The story unfolds in a multicultural apartment building, which itself becomes a central character in the tale. Aisha, the protagonist, is an American Muslim woman who grapples with the tensions and mistrust within her diverse community. As the plot progresses, it becomes evident that the building is haunted, not just by malevolent spirits, but also by the insidious specters of bigotry and fear. These supernatural entities feed and thrive on the xenophobic sentiments pervading the building, leading to a series of terrifying and suspenseful events. The artwork by Aaron Campbell effectively complements the eerie and tense atmosphere of the story, using shadowy illustrations to heighten the sense of dread and unease. The interplay between traditional horror elements and the social commentary on xenophobia makes Infidel a unique and compelling read, offering both scares and a poignant message about society's hidden fears and prejudices. At 15. Clean Room, Vertigo, and DC Comics In the chilling world of Clean Room, a self-help guru named Astrid Mueller has amassed a vast following promising to help humanity confront and overcome its darkest fears. However, when journalist Chloe Pierce's fiancé, Philip, takes his own life after immersing himself in Astrid's teachings, Chloe is determined to uncover the truth behind the enigmatic guru and her seemingly benevolent organization. As Chloe delves deeper into Astrid's world, she discovers a horrifying reality. Astrid and her followers are not battling internal demons but are instead waging a secret war against a sinister force that lurks in the shadows. These creatures, known as Quiet Ones, are invisible to most, but they prey on human emotions, feeding off their despair and torment. Astrid's self-help methods are actually a means of cleansing individuals of these entities, a process that can be fatal if not done correctly. Chloe's investigation leads her to uncover a clandestine operation within Astrid's organization, where volunteers are subjected to increasingly dangerous procedures in an attempt to eradicate the quiet ones from humanity. Amidst the escalating chaos, Chloe finds herself caught in a dangerous game between Astrid and the quiet ones, with her own life hanging in the balance. She must confront her own fears and make difficult choices as she races against time to save humanity from an unseen threat. Number 14. The Wake, Vertigo, and DC Comics In the depths of the ocean, far beneath the reach of sunlight, lies a secret so ancient and terrifying that it threatens to unravel the very fabric of humanity's existence. This is the chilling backdrop for Scott Snyder and Sean Murphy's groundbreaking comic book series, The Wake. Dr. Lee Archer, a brilliant cytologist haunted by a tragic past, is drawn into this underwater enigma when she is recruited by a clandestine government agency to investigate a series of unexplained anomalies occurring near the Alaskan coast. Upon reaching this site, she and her team discover a massive underwater structure, a labyrinth of interconnected tunnels and chambers that houses something far more sinister than they could have ever imagined. Beneath the surface of the ocean, a race of monstrous creatures, the Murs, has been awakened from eons of slumber. These aquatic beings, once revered by ancient civilizations as gods of the sea, possess an intelligence and power that dwarfs that of humanity. Driven by a primal instinct for vengeance, they have risen to claim the ocean as their rightful domain, unleashing a wave of destruction that threatens to engulf the world. As Dr. Archer delves deeper into the mystery of the Murs, she uncovers a hidden history that links them to humanity's past, a lineage shrouded in myth and legend. She learns that the Murs were once worshipped as protectors of the ocean, but their reverence turned to fear when they proved too powerful to control. In a desperate act to protect themselves, humanity unleashed a cataclysmic event banishing the Murs to the depths of the ocean and severing their connection to the surface world. Now, the Murs are back, seeking to reclaim what they believe is rightfully theirs. Dr. Archer finds herself caught in the crossfire of this ancient conflict, torn between her duty to humanity and her growing empathy for the Murs. As the world teeters on the brink of collapse, she must make a choice that will determine the fate of both species. At 13. Severed Image Comics Severed, a horror comic created by Scott Snyder, Scott Tuft, and illustrated by Attila Fataki and published by Image Comics, is a chilling blend of historical storytelling and bone-chilling horror. Set in the early 20th century, the narrative follows the harrowing journey of Jack Garren, a young boy who runs away from home with dreams of finding his biological father, a traveling musician. As he journeys across the early American landscape, Jack encounters a terrifying and malevolent entity known only as the Salesman. This enigmatic figure, with his chillingly polite demeanor and sharp, shark-like teeth, represents a profound and ancient evil that preys upon the innocent and unwary. The story masterfully weaves together elements of suspense, fear, 
in the grim realities of early American life. The historical setting adds a unique layer to the horror, as it explores themes of vulnerability and deception in an era where communication and safety were far more precarious than today. Fataki's artwork complements the story's tone perfectly, with a style that evokes the era and enhances the growing sense of dread as Jack's journey becomes increasingly dangerous. The narrative unfolds with a sense of inevitable doom, keeping readers on the edge of their seats as they follow Jack's perilous quest. The story of Severed is not just about the monsters we encounter, but also about the loss of innocence and the harsh realities of the world. Position number 12. Harvest Image Comics Harvest, written by A.J. Lieberman and illustrated by Colin Lorimer, is a gritty and unsettling horror comic published by Image Comics. The story delves into the dark and morally ambiguous world of illegal organ harvesting. The protagonist, Dr. Benjamin Dane, is a disgraced former surgeon who, after losing his medical license due to drug addiction and malpractice, finds himself entangled in the sinister underworld of organ trafficking. The narrative takes a deep dive into the macabre business of harvesting organs from the less fortunate to sell to the wealthy and desperate. Dr. Dane is coerced into this gruesome trade by a mysterious and threatening figure known only as Craven. The story unfolds with intense and graphic scenes, showcasing Dane's struggle with his own moral compass, addiction, and the horrors he witnesses and perpetrates in the organ trade. Lorimer's art style, with its dark tones and stark imagery, complements the narrative's grim, intense atmosphere, encapsulating the horror and desperation of the characters involved. Harvest is more than a horror story. It's a psychological thriller that explores themes of corruption, redemption, and the ethical limits one is willing to breach when pushed to the brink. At 11. Gideon Falls Image Comics In the unsettling world of Jeff Lemire and Andrea Sorrentino's Gideon Falls, a mysterious black barn, a symbol of dread and despair, appears in both a small, isolated town and a bustling metropolis, linking their destinies through a web of dark secrets and interdimensional horrors. In the quiet town of Gideon Falls, Father Fred, a troubled priest haunted by his past, arrives to take over the parish following the inexplicable disappearance of his predecessor. Meanwhile, in the city, Norton, a reclusive young man obsessed with urban legends and hidden meanings, becomes fixated on the recurring image of the Black Barn. As their paths intertwine, Norton and Father Fred discover that the Black Barn is not just a mere symbol but a gateway to a terrifying parallel dimension, where reality bends and twists, and malevolent entities lurk in the shadows. The barn's presence seems to attract misfortune and madness, leaving a trail of death and chaos in its wake. As the two men delve deeper into the mystery, they uncover a hidden history that connects the two versions of Gideon Falls, a history filled with forbidden rituals, ancient curses, and a cult seeking to exploit the dimensional portal for their own sinister purposes. Amidst the escalating supernatural events, Norton and Father Fred find themselves caught in a desperate struggle to unravel the truth and prevent the forces of darkness from engulfing both worlds. Their quest leads them down a labyrinth of cryptic symbols, unsettling encounters, and mind-bending revelations, blurring the lines between reality and nightmare. Let's pause for a second as we are entering the final top 10. I hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you found the list interesting and it's adding value to your day, please consider giving it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel grow and allows me to bring more content like this to you. And if you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Subscribing is the best way to stay updated with our latest videos. Plus, it's completely free and just a click away. Also, make sure to ring that notification bell. This way, you'll get notified every time we upload a new video so you won't miss any of our exciting updates. Thanks for your support. And now, let's dive back into our list. Now entering my top 10 best-selling comic books of the horror genre. The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina, Archie Comics. In the heart of the sleepy town of Greendale, nestled amidst a coven of witches and lurking demons, resides Sabrina Spellman, a teenager straddling the line between the human world and the supernatural. Unlike the cheerful, preppy Sabrina of the popular sitcoms, this Sabrina faces a much darker and more sinister reality. Sabrina's world is a twisted reflection of the familiar. Her beloved aunts, Hilda and Zelda, are not just eccentric guardians but also powerful witches, guiding their niece through the intricacies of witchcraft and preparing her for her impending dark baptism, a rite of passage into the coven. As Sabrina navigates her teenage life, juggling school, friendships, and romantic crushes, she must also grapple with the weight of her dual nature. She is torn between her human desires for love, 
friendship, and a normal life and her growing responsibilities as a witch, bound by the ancient traditions of her lineage. The supernatural world around her is not the whimsical realm of fairy tales and playful enchantments, but a realm of dark magic, ancient curses, and malevolent forces. Sabrina's powers, once a source of fascination and excitement, become a burden as she witnesses the horrors that lurk beyond the veil of human reality. As she delves deeper into the coven's secrets, Sabrina uncovers a web of hidden agendas, twisted alliances, and sinister plots. The line between friend and foe blurs, and Sabrina must learn to trust her own judgment and instincts to navigate the treacherous waters of her dual existence. At 9. Nailbiter Image Comics In the eerie town of Buckaroo, Oregon, a chilling secret lies buried beneath its tranquil facade, a gruesome legacy of serial killers. The town has produced an astonishing 16 of America's most notorious murderers, each bearing a chilling moniker and a penchant for gruesome methods of torture and death. When FBI agent Charles Carroll arrives in Buckaroo to investigate the latest butcher, a serial killer known as Edward Nailbiter Warren, he quickly realizes that the town's dark history is far more than a coincidence. The butchers all share a unique connection to Buckaroo, and Carroll suspects that the town itself might be somehow responsible for their twisted bloodlust. As Carroll delves deeper into the mystery, he uncovers a horrifying truth. Buckaroo is not just a breeding ground for serial killers, but a nexus for supernatural forces that have corrupted the town's bloodline. The butchers are not mere psychopaths, but individuals possessed by a malevolent entity that feeds on their violence and darkness. Carol's investigation takes a personal turn when he discovers that his old friend, NSA agent Nicholas Finch, has also become entangled in the town's dark secrets. Finch has gone missing, and Carol fears that he has fallen victim to the butchers or the town's supernatural curse. Together with Sheriff Shannon Crane and a group of locals who are determined to expose the town's secrets, Carol and Finch race against time to unravel the mystery of Buckaroo and break the cycle of violence before it claims more lives. Their journey leads them down a path of unspeakable horror and terrifying revelations, blurring the lines between reality and nightmare. Number 8. Afterlife with Archie, Archie Comics In the charming town of Riverdale, a dark and horrifying twist befalls the iconic Archie gang as a zombie apocalypse sweeps through the once peaceful community. The familiar faces of Archie, Betty, Veronica, and Jughead are transformed into undead creatures, their innocence and youthful spirit replaced by an insatiable hunger for flesh and a thirst for the living. The once vibrant town of Riverdale is now a desolate landscape, overrun by ravenous zombies and shrouded in a perpetual state of dread. The friends, once inseparable and carefree, find themselves pitted against one another, their loyalties tested and their friendships strained as they struggle to survive in a world turned upside down. Archie, the once optimistic and boy-next-door type, is now a relentless zombie, his once bright eyes now filled with an insatiable hunger for human flesh. Betty, the sweet and compassionate girl, is now a feral zombie, her gentle nature replaced by a predatory instinct for survival. Veronica, the popular and stylish girl, is now a cunning and ruthless zombie, her vanity and self-preservation overriding any sense of compassion or empathy. And Jughead, the bookish and introspective one, is now a mysterious and enigmatic zombie, his knowledge of the undead world providing a glimmer of hope amidst the chaos. As the zombie apocalypse rages on, Archie and his friends must confront the darkness within themselves and find a way to reclaim their humanity in the face of unimaginable horror. Their journey takes them through treacherous landscapes, perilous encounters with other mutated creatures, and heartbreaking decisions that will determine their fate. At 7. Outcast Image Comics In the heart of rural West Virginia, a dark secret lies hidden beneath the surface of seemingly peaceful life. A malevolent force, known as the Grotto, has been preying upon the townsfolk for generations, inflicting upon them a horrifying form of demonic possession that twists their bodies and minds into grotesque parodies of their former selves. Kyle Barnes, a tormented man haunted by his own childhood experiences with the Grotto, is drawn back to his hometown when his young son, Joshua, begins exhibiting disturbing signs of demonic influence. Determined to protect his son and break the cycle of horror that has plagued his family for years, Kyle turns to Reverend Anderson, a troubled exorcist who has battled the Grotto for decades. As Kyle and Reverend Anderson delve deeper into the mystery of the grotto, they uncover a chilling history of demonic possession and cult activity that has plagued the town for centuries. They discover that the grotto feeds on the fear and despair of its victims, 
using them as vessels to spread its malevolent influence. With each exorcism they perform, Kyle and Reverend Anderson find themselves facing more terrifying challenges as the grotto grows stronger and more determined to claim their souls. They must confront their own deepest fears and confront the darkness within themselves in order to defeat the evil that threatens to consume them all. Position 6. American Vampire, Vertigo, and DC Comics In the American West of the 18th and 19th centuries, a new breed of vampire emerges, one not vulnerable to sunlight, stakes, or religious symbols. These vampires, known as the American kind, are immune to the traditional weaknesses of their European counterparts, making them a formidable threat to humanity. One such American kind is Skinner Sweet, a charismatic outlaw with a thirst for violence and a talent for survival. Skinner Sweet is not your typical vampire. He is not bound by the rules of traditional vampire society, and he is not afraid to challenge the established order. As Skinner Sweet carves his path through the American frontier, he encounters other American kind, each with their own unique abilities and motivations. He also faces the growing threat of the Nisferatu, a European vampire clan that seeks to eradicate the American kind and reclaim their dominance over the night. Amidst the backdrop of the Wild West, Skinner Sweet becomes entangled in a web of intrigue, violence, and supernatural horror. He battles rival vampires, uncovers ancient conspiracies, and confronts the dark secrets of his own past. At number 5. Uzumaki. This media. In the serene coastal town of Kurosicho, a seemingly innocent fascination with spirals takes a sinister turn, transforming the town and its inhabitants into a living nightmare of spiraling horror. Kurosicho, a once peaceful community, is slowly but surely consumed by an inexplicable obsession with spirals. From the town's architecture to the daily lives of its residents, the spiral motif takes on a menacing presence, gradually warping reality and unleashing a wave of terror. As the spiral's influence grows, the townsfolk begin to exhibit bizarre and grotesque physical transformations, their bodies twisted and contorted into grotesque parodies of their former selves. Their minds become consumed by an insatiable desire for spirals, leading to acts of violence and self-destruction. At the heart of this spiral-induced madness is Kiri Gashima, a young woman who witnesses the town's descent into madness with growing horror. As her loved ones succumb to the spiral's grip, Kiri is determined to uncover the truth behind this insidious force and find a way to save her town and its inhabitants from this spiraling nightmare. At 4. Lock and Key IDW Publishing In the sleepy town of Lovecraft, Massachusetts, the Locke family moves into Key House, an imposing Victorian mansion steeped in a chilling history. Unbeknownst to them, Key House holds a dark secret. It is a gateway to a parallel dimension filled with magical keys that can unlock extraordinary abilities and unleash unimaginable horrors. The Locke siblings, Tyler, Kinsey, and Bode, soon discover the keys hidden within Key House, each possessing unique powers that can shape reality itself. They stumble upon keys that can open doors to other realms, transform themselves into anyone they desire, manipulate time, and even control minds. As the Locks explore the secrets of Key House and its magical keys, they find themselves entangled in a centuries-old battle between light and darkness, good and evil. They must confront the malevolent force known as Dodge, a demonic entity that seeks to possess the keys and use their power for its own nefarious purposes. Amidst the thrills, chills, and supernatural surprises, Locke and Key delves into themes of family, loss, and the power of resilience. The Locke siblings must navigate the complexities of their relationships while facing the terrifying forces that threaten to destroy them. Number 3. Swamp Thing DC Comics Alan Moore's 1984-1987 run on Swamp Thing is a groundbreaking and critically acclaimed work of horror comics, redefining the character and genre. It delves into themes of environmentalism, identity, and the nature of reality, blending elements of horror, mysticism, and science fiction. The story follows Alec Holland, a brilliant scientist who is tragically transformed into a monstrous swamp creature after a disastrous experiment. Alec grapples with his new identity, torn between his humanity and his connection to the swamp. He must also confront the malevolent forces that threaten the swamp and the environment. Moore's run explores the interconnectedness of all living things, portraying the swamp as a sentient entity with its own consciousness. He blurs the lines between reality and hallucination, creating a surreal and unsettling atmosphere. At 2. Hellblazer Vertigo in DC Comics In the gritty, supernatural world of Hellblazer, 
John Constantine, a chain-smoking, trench-coat-wearing conman and a cult expert, navigates the dark underbelly of London, dabbling in black magic and facing off against demonic forces. Constantine's life is a constant struggle against his own demons, both literal and metaphorical. He is haunted by the guilt of his past mistakes, plagued by a self-destructive nature, and constantly seeking redemption. Yet, despite his flaws, he remains a charismatic and morally ambiguous hero, driven by a desire to protect the innocent from the forces of evil. Throughout his adventures, Constantine encounters a vast array of supernatural creatures, from vengeful ghosts and demonic entities to time-traveling sorcerers and Lovecraftian horrors. He must also confront his own mortality, facing the inevitability of his own death while trying to make a difference in the world. And the last one in our top 25 horror comic bestsellers list. The Walking Dead. Image Comics. In the heart of Georgia, a small-town sheriff's deputy named Rick Grimes awakens from a coma to find the world he knew ravaged by a zombie apocalypse. With the dead rising and humanity's descent into chaos, Rick must find his family and forge a path through a world gone mad. Amidst the chaos, Rick and his group of survivors face a relentless struggle for survival, battling hordes of ravenous zombies, hostile human groups, and the ever-present threat of death. They grapple with the moral complexities of the New World Order, questioning the boundaries of humanity and the meaning of survival. As the group travels across a desolate landscape, they form alliances, make enemies, and forge unbreakable bonds. They face unimaginable challenges, including loss, betrayal, and the ever-present threat of the undead. Their journey is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit in the face of unimaginable adversity. And that's a wrap on our top 25 horror comics countdown. If any of these terrifying tales caught your eye, or if you have your own spooky suggestions, drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more geeky goodness. Until next time, keep those pages turning, and maybe, just maybe, keep a light on tonight. You never know what's hiding in the dark corners of your room. Happy reading, horror hounds.